Greetings from the People's House on this last day of January 2021. My name is Tim Ravendall. I'm with Conservative News from Montana. And here in front of the People's House, uh, we are completing the first month of the 67th Montana Legislature here in Montana. And many are being, many of our rights are being discussed and amended. And many are wondering if our constitutional rights will survive into 2021 and beyond. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cover just a few of the high, uh, very important legislative actions that are taking place. That way we can kind of get an idea of where we're headed. Uh, what I would like to do is just go ahead and just do a quick summary. Uh, I'm going to start with House Bill 113. Montana Republicans who voted with the Democrats to allow the mutilation to children, they support children to undergo sex changes. And there's a bunch of the Republicans that voted for this as it was moving through the House. And I'd just like to mention those folks, and here they are. Uh, we got Marta Bertoglio. Excuse me if I don't pronounce the name correctly. We have Ed Buttry. We have Geraldine Custer. We have Ross Fitzgerald. We have Frank Garner. We have Gregory Fraser. We have Kenneth Homland. We have Mike Hopkins. We have Casey Knudsen. We have Denley Lodge. We have Wendy McCamey. We have Bill Mercer. We have Brian Putman. We have Mallory Stromsvold. We have Sue Vinton. We have Kathy Whitman. We have Kenneth Walsh and we have Tom Welch. Now these Republicans have taken action in the voting process to represent the people under the Republican Party. If you look at the platform of the Republican Party, this is a direct contradiction and, and in opposition to that platform. Uh, those are the things that we need to point out here in Montana, and the regular media does not do that. Next, I'd like to maybe get the next really hot topic, which is the pandemic, which is bringing in the health department's authority over the people and their rights. When you have unelected officials giving directives that are in contradiction of the Constitution, we have a problem here in Montana, according to many people that we've spoke to. Purportedly, HB 20, 121 opens the door to accountability of local government officials. What many local administrations do not disclose is that elected officials are already in a position to control what directives are handed out to the citizens, regardless of constitutionality. Questions on, are on the table for the future. Many citizens believe that this legislation opens Pandora's box to further abuse the rights of the people. Another bill that is also opening that door from a different approach is found in Senate Bill 65. Both of these bills are, are really looking to do the right thing, but they don't, according to many we talked to, do not go far enough. The next uh, is a, on this same subject. Uh, currently under Title 50, your sheriff can be removed from office if he does not enforce a directive that has no constitutional foundation. Many of the sheriffs in Montana signed a directive, if you will, or a letter that stated that they will not, and I repeat, will not, uh, enforce this out of that Title 50. What we are looking at is, is a situation where the uh, House Bill 144 removes the penalties for a sheriff, constable, or a peace officer who does not assist state or local health officer. What this is, is this puts public safety first and those officials in that position to be able to make that happen. In this particular bill, we have 26 elected members of the House voted against the people and their sheriffs of Montana. Next on my list here that I'm just giving a brief summary of is House Bill 13. This bill was built behind the curtain back in September of last year. It was placed before the legislature as a first order of business even though the effective date of increasing government spending by over $20 million would be phased in over the next three to four years. The legislation was put on fast track because of the statutory makeup of state employee does not include pay for public safety. Our House Highway Patrol 
are on a different schedule according to statute, and this $0.55 cent an hour does not go to make, to make that whole for the Public Safety Department. Many say that this is a slap in the face of public safety, and we have 37 who voted for this. The acts going on in the People's House right now in 2021 are really needing to have the people involved to make sure that they do not uh, stand and remain silent, according to what we are seeing here. The main media does not cover a lot of this, so here we are with conservative news from Montana trying to help make sure that that happens. Uh, another one of the bills that I'd like to touch on is Senate Bill 65. This also was built behind the curtain back in November of 2020. This bill opening the door to more liability to small business and is being pushed very hard. Many of the people we'll, we talk to are afraid that this opens the door to frivolous lawsuits against small businesses. With the pandemic dictating the rights of the people across Montana, it is certainly worth taking a look at the fine print of this legislation. Liability charges and, and, and responsibility of small business is just an overreach right now, according to many that we talked to on this particular bill. Those of you that know me know that I've stood hard on these steps and, and in front of this, the People's House here, defending our Second Amendment rights. Uh, we are also looking at, our, um, under Article 2, Section 12 of the Constitution of Montana, it states that the right to keep and bear arms shall not be called into question. House Bill 102 works towards providing an insurance to the people of Montana that their constitutional right to keep and bear arms shall not be called into question. Unfortunately, many pro-gun advocates believe that the legislation falls very short. This piece of legislation has been promoted as a constitutional carry bill. The legislation provides exceptions, which include the authority of the government to convert the right of the people to a permission slip. Still exists, and exceptions are provided for government control of this right. There are many other bills that are affect the rights of the people. It was once said that the world is run by those who show up. Please stay tuned as we continue to build a team here in Montana to give you the news here in Montana that affects our future ahead of decisions that are made by our government right here in Montana. Again, this is Tim with Conservative News from Montana. I bid you a farewell and a great 2021. Let's stand united and make sure that the people are informed. Thank you. Have a good day.